course, a huge weekend here in Threadbow with the Tess Cody Bushdorf happening over the next two days. And I've got Tess here to uh, fill us in about it. So, Tess, it looks amazing up here. What's going on? Yeah, the setup's all coming together really well. Uh, Charles Beckinsale and the Threadbow Parks crew have been putting in the work to get it all, get it all ready, uh, ready to rumble Friday and Saturday, and it's going to be epic. Mate, I was looking at the lineup, the monster team, it's pretty well chock a block with some of the best snowboarders in the world. So huge opportunity for people to get up and see the world's best firsthand. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Saturday at 2pm, the, all the pros will be riding the setup right here. Um, it's going to be unreal and anyone who wants to get involved or try and get an entry in it can come to the um, Challenger Jam. That's going to be happening on Friday at 11 o'clock in Anton's Park and you can try and win a spot and ride among the pros. It's going to be sick. Awesome. Sounds epic. Well, what a weekend to come up here. Now let's get into the snow report. Hi, Reg Ellis in Threadbow with the Mountain Watch Snow Report for August 31st with thanks to XTM Performance. August 31st, last day of winter and well what a winter it's been. Up and down and well it feels like spring up here today. Of course we had rain across the Aussie Alps yesterday followed by some cold air and a few centimetres of snow here in Threadbow up at Perish. they got around about 3 to 4 centimetres above 1700 metres. Not enough to make a difference. Of course the snow pack has been running out over the last few days and we have seen terrain and lifts close in a number of resorts. Here in Threadbow, uh, best on the groom runs this morning. Still 13 out of 15 lifts open and you can still ski to the bottom on the Super Trail in High Noon. But definitely best around the cruiser area and also uh, the T-Bars. Carol Basin had some uh, nice little freshies this morning as well. Up at Perisher, 30 lifts open there. Smiggins is now closed for the season. And also the Ridge Share over at Blue Cow is closed. But still very good cover across Perisher Valley. Uh, the park in uh, Front Valley looking excellent. A lot of pros over there as well. And up at Charlotte's Pass, they've got uh, four lifts open there. Best off the groom runs up around the Cozzy Triple. In Victoria, down to five lifts open in uh, Mount Hotham. Unfortunately, Heavily Valley has had to close. In Falls Creek, nine lifts open. Still some good skiing to be had on the Castle Towers area, while in Mount Buller, the summit hanging nicely, as is um, Burke Street, and also on Family Run. Now, if you're heading up for the weekend here in Threadbow, big event, we've got Tess Cody's Bush Dwarf happening, and we've got some of the leading snowboarders in the world. The whole Monster Energy team is here, and it's going to be an insane weekend. The weather, it's going to be perfect. We're going to see cold clear nights putting a freeze into the snow every morning and then spring conditions by late morning this has been reggae ellis in threadbow for xtm performance